Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about a new developer's backyard for Good to Guest Drive. Uh, this is the second one that we got. It's kind of crazy because I just made a video recently for Good to Guest Drive, not even a day ago, it's like a couple of hours ago actually. So it's kind of crazy that we just got this right now. So, anyways, uh, I've already read this. I just want to go through this and explain what I think about each point. Uh, there's a lot of things that they show here, but this second volume of the developer update is kind of interesting because the first one was mostly about the questions that were asked in the survey after the beta this one is more about the questions that are asked after the first developer's backyard so it's not like they're just looking at the survey from the beta it's like they are just they keep the discussion going like people had questions had more questions after the first developer's backyard so now they're replying to these questions and even after this developer's backyard there's still a new uh, there's another uh, form for us to ask more questions uh, or make more requests to the developers uh, and they said they'll kind of try their best to answer uh, to some of them so yeah it's always nice to have uh, these things i really enjoyed this uh, i hope they do this also after the second beta of the game uh, we don't know when that's gonna happen but it has it has pretty much been confirmed that we're gonna have uh, a second beta so anyways for this section, the first thing that they do is they introduce us to the Roman cancel mechanic. Uh, so Roman cancel, there's a it, there's a lot of things about Roman cancels about in, in this game compared to the previous titles. The Roman cancel has changed a lot. Uh, there's a lot of different things that can be done now with the Roman cancel. It has different functions, uh, and something that people have been kind of complaining about after the beta was that. Uh, this game has a lot of new Roman cancels into it compared to the previous games, but nothing was explained. Uh, and this, and people were complaining that it's not good for like new players to come across this type of system without any sort of explanation. And even people who play Guilty Gear, they don't know about this, uh, all of these new functionalities of the Roman cancels. There's a little bit of confusion. Uh, when people compare them to the things that you can do in the previous game because they don't work the same but yeah they go over uh all the different ones this is the red one uh, it has a little shock wave to it i uh, see how it works let me put on the sound actually this should be good enough but yeah they show some combos how it works this one you can use it to do combos it's literally a juggle point that slows down the enemy uh it's interesting the way it works. It kind of reminds me of Karma, you know, Beelzebub's Karma, the little black hole that he does, the way it functions, bounces the enemy in the air and then makes them slowly fall down. That's really cool. You can use it as a, uh, a combo tool like that. It's really nice. I wonder, the thing that I wonder is how well does it work uh, when it comes to juggling people at the wall? Because one thing about the wall is that you know you have the wall break mechanic and all but i wonder if it's gonna it's gonna really like it's gonna play a big role into side switching when you're at the wall if you don't want the wall break and just side switch with it because i think i think that would be pretty dope i don't know if you can do that though it would require some training and some labbing i guess so anyways the second version is the neutral uh roman cancel they don't really call them anything i just come up with names because that's what everyone does this is the blue one i'll say it's like the blue roman cancel so this one is just made to slow down time around you like it gives you advantage in a situation where you would you wouldn't have necessarily advantage or it makes you see moves uh, and react to them more easily like this like it's pretty actually pretty cool Well, they show some situations like that which one is this one again this one is a purple one i guess yeah purple one the purple one is looks a lot like the uh yrc like the yellow roman cancel from guilty exert it seems to be to function the same pretty much like like this this is yrc pretty much but it's 50 percent meter should remember that that's really nice and then we got which one is this? Yellow one. This is the yellow one, which is now the dead angle. So yellow, why the new YRC is now dead angle, pretty much. Boop. 
and in the air you see it makes the opponent bounce back in neutral position Whoop. that's sweet i really like that they show uh, showing that interestingly enough if you do this in and you're the one in the air and you're not hit by a uh, if you're being hit by a, a by an anti-air you have the advantage somehow that's interesting next next i'd like to introduce some uh, tricky uses of the mechanic for those who are veterans to the series of fighting games as a whole yeah so these are advanced techniques with the roman cancels this is where things get uh, things get a little bit more nutty i would say for you know people who like to do dirty stuff in fighting games <laughs> <Whoop. laughs> that one's kind of crazy this is like they call it, people call it drift RC where character shifts like that. Boop. You can use it to dodge projectiles. So it's very much like the dodge mechanic and uh Oh my god, that's so nice. This one is really cool. It's like the dodge mechanic in like uh Grand Blue. Just dodge into projectile like that. I wonder if you can dodge into anything. Like you see Gunflame is a pill is like a continuous it's like uh it has like continuous hitbox. It's like pretty much Percival, like he's a fireball. It's pretty much the same. I wonder if you can dodge into that or if you can't. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you cannot because it has multiple, it has a lingering hitbox. But this thing is so disgusting. What are you supposed to do against that even? There's nothing you can do. You're, it's guaranteed pretty much. I'm going to get hit by the wire throw. 40%, no taking, no... Uh, burst out of that that's disgusting so that was drift rc it's pretty useful uh next is which one is this one oh this is fast rc people call it something else but i don't know what it is but let's just call it fast rc boop god damn Oh wow, okay, so you see this is another example. They shouldn't show these things. They shouldn't show these things. It's so disgusting. So here's something that's cool about this. Uh Fafnir in this game is a uh guard break. It's gonna break your guard if you block it. So if you get hit by Fafnir, it breaks your guard, and then on guard break you have like 60% risk gauge build, I think. Boop! And then you do Nitrate Vortex like that, that's guaranteed to do like, it's probably going to be a 70% damage combo on your health. Like, guaranteed. This thing's gonna hurt if you block that. Shouldn't block that. Man, that's so disgusting. This one is so disgusting. Yeah, so, Fast RC, pretty cool. Uh, next one is... Uh, this is just the last one is just an example of how you can mix the uses the usage of roman cancels together at once this is pretty impressive in my opinion i was really surprised to see some of these things boop, boop. damn so look at this one the second one that is the most impressive thing i've seen that is so sick look at that You can pretty much turn something that is unsafe into something that's safe. Like you turn a move that doesn't exist into something else. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Gunfling faint. Bam, bam. Damn. That's so cool. I want to play this game again. <laughs> I really want to play this game again. We got one, two, three, four, five, six type of RC. In this game so that's a lot of them that's a lot of usage uh and the thing is people might be like okay so we need to spend meter to use uh, to get more combos and stuff like that like it's pretty cool but you need meter right but the thing about this game is that uh meter is no longer like a, an issue because you gain meter so fast in, in this game there's so many ways for you to gain meter and i think they did it well because you know, in other fighting games, in other 2D fighting games, or uh, anime games, uh, or any game that uses, like, that has, like, meter and stuff like that, you would always think that you need to use 
the most optimal combo that uses the like the least amount of resources, right? But for this game, it's completely the complete opposite. It's like use your resources, whatever, uh, no matter what. Like, just use RC. Just do it. Like no matter what happens, you just have to use it. It doesn't matter because you're gonna gain meter very fast in this game, anyways. You just better use your your meter, uh, anyways. So that's pretty cool. It's like a new mentality. I like that. You don't have to care so much about your meter, and it's more. It's like it's it's a good way to add freedom and to also add things that are beginner friendly right? if you're not sure if something is going to combo into something or not you can just use your meter it's like whatever just use it just pop it you know and that's and that works i really like that so now they are going now they decide to answer some more questions uh, that people asked after the uh, first developers backyard so here's a question uh, i believe that the ui moving as the held gauge decreases is connected with the idea of decreasing the eye movement required to check each gauge you mentioned last time. Uh, what is the idea behind this? So, this case says our goal was to make it so the player uh, could check the health bar and burst gauge in a single glance. As a result, however, the player could no longer look at a fixed place on the screen to check their gauge, meaning they had to search for it if they change it it's fine if they get it if they keep it the way it is it's fine to me as well like, i don't mind uh the ui moving or i don't mind it being like staying in one place it's not a problem because you know people are like oh uh, new players can just get used to look at the ui left and right and stuff like that at the fixed ui right but it also works uh in the other way like people who are already used to all the other stuff can also get used to look at the ui moving around because it's not that hard uh also like the new way they made the ui is not that hard it's just weird that they decided to change that but once again it's part of the idea that we've talked about before they just want to make everything new now the next question is in the previous interview you mentioned that you want to create a greater degree of freedom in combos than the previous games. However, in the close beta test using the same moves multiple times in a combo, Bennett Bringer, for example, was extremely simple and powerful, so it seemed like everyone was using the same combos. I apologize if this impression is correct. I feel this is a departure from your intent. How do you intend to correct this? Uh, okay, so Mr. Katano says, uh, by itself, the existence of combos, including the same move more than once, isn't against our De developmental intent all right so they, they do, they're not against triple five man. i'm not against that either i think it's pretty funny i think it's really hilarious to see uh, that type of combo and it's once again one thing that makes the game more beginner friendly if you just like to use that move that looks really really strong you can just do it so they say we really wanted to remove the concept that, for example, move A only combos into move B. So when it comes to the Gatling, it's not the same. But when it comes to just special moves, you can connect pretty much anything that you want. Uh, anyways, however, in the beta test, there was almost no advantage uh, to using complicated combos instead of simple, easier combos. Uh, one flaw we discovered in the test was that only one combo route left an impression and there wasn't enough into ins uh, there wasn't enough to inspire players to experiment yeah once again that probably is the problem of the uh the damage in the game as far as we will fix this as far as how we fix this i apologize but i can't give a general answer we are continually making adjustments to many elements of the game such as damage preparation attack properties meter the impact of previous moves as well as mechanics new to the series all right so they are trying their best to change to change this it's not going to be easy i guess uh but they want something they want a system where people can do triple five near but it's not going to be as rewarding as someone who does like more complex combos like we've seen with uh the rc system for example moving on question three I have a question for Mr. Wishwatari as the character designer. I'd like to know your intentions behind the redesign in this game. Uh, I'd also like to know if there's a theme behind the design of Guilty Gear Strive. 
I have a question for Mr. Shiratari as a composer. I'd like to know why there are so many vocal character themes in this game. Also, are the lyrics to the character themes based on the character's feelings and perspectives? Uh, Mr. Shiratari says, I said this last time as well, but our intent uh first and foremost in making this game is to create something entirely new rather than a continuation of the previous type of the previous games uh, this includes our direction with the music and the designs as well the reason for changing the character design is that it makes it clear at a single glance that this is a new series within the guilty gear franchise and that's true because the characters were mostly the same in Exert. The designs were not really that different, except for some characters like maybe Milia uh, and Potemkin, I guess. Uh, as for the direction behind the character design, my goal is to make simpler designs that are easy for players to remember. Uh, my idea, my ideal, is to create designs where even if someone draws a rough sketch of them, you could tell what character they are drawing to be honest though i don't think i achieved this for every character all right pretty uh pretty humble you see a little bit of humility there it's like yeah i don't really he's not really sure if he gets that right for every character and that's fair enough um in my opinion i think the designs for characters in gets Drive are way better than the designs in exert so far i like them all uh, moving on, we have uh, that's good saying introducing vocals, uh, vocals into the BGM is for the same reason to make it completely new. For me, that doesn't mean just writing new songs, but rather taking on a challenge that could create a new era for this series. Uh, the lyrics reflect the character's perspective and backgrounds. Okay, so. They're really, they're really trying to push for the vocal tracks a little bit more in this game. So people don't like vocal tracks at all, but they should expect more vocal tracks in this game. <laughs> That's not going to be too good. I hope that maybe they find a way to have like jukebox mode or add uh, previous songs from previous games. That would be dope. It would be, it would be nice to let people have the option. Uh, I think, but something that pe someone has said, it would be nice if they would find a way to rearrange the songs uh, for them to fit more with the fights, you know, in Guilty Gear Strive, because the the, the the music in Guilty Gear Strive has too much build up to it, like it takes too long before it kicks in. So it would be nice if they would find a way to rearrange it. And it kind of reminds me of something like Kill Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct have, uh, has a really, really good soundtrack. Like The soundtrack for Killer Instinct is really good. But even though it's really good, the game has... They have to rearrange the songs to, to make it fit with the fights. So it's something that they have to do as well in Strive, in my opinion. I think that would be pretty nice. Uh, question 4. I'm curious about these new iterations of characters, of Gitsuke characters and their moves. Why some characters like Soul... And Potem can have movesets very similar to the previous incarnations. Some characters like Chip, Axel, May have lost iconic tools and have been very much redefined as characters. Respectively, I'm talking about the loss of Chip's teleport, the loss of Axel's defensive specials like Benton, Perry, and Ray. What the hell is that? Ray? Uh, and the loss of May's ability to set up Mr. Dolphin to attack later. How are you striving, <laughs> striving to find a balance between something totally new and something recognizable in regards to the play to the character's playstyle? Furthermore, can you offer insight to why those moves or other had to be removed? Let's see what they have to say here. Uh, we aren't using pure style as a base. We think uh, when thinking about changing the character's moves, we're redefining each character from the ground up for this new game. So Mr. Cardano says, naturally the concept behind the characters from uh, prior tiles form a basis for that redefining, but at the very least, we aren't, we aren't developing them with the idea of removing things from the previous games. Um, to roughly outline some of those redefinitions, Chip 
He has extremely fast movement, but many of his specials are risky. Axel, he excels at long range, but is heavily at disadvantage at close range. Okay, fair enough. May has very simple ways to get big damage, but doesn't have many tricks. Okay. Those examples, those are some examples. We plan to introduce more detailed explanations of them on other uh, and other character in the future volumes of developers backyard. So maybe in the next developer backyard, they're going to talk more about the characters. I hope uh, it will be interesting. So Gitsuke Strive is undeniably a simplified game, right? It's undeniably a simplified game. Doesn't mean that it has lost its depth, but when it comes to the character, they are definitely simple versions of what they were, what they are, what they used to be. But, uh, so here's the thing. With Guilty Gear Strive, you see in the character selection screen, there's like classes of character pretty much. You have power, uh, speed, tricky, things like that. So these classes are now kind of a way for them to define the characters now. Like before you have a character like Mei, Mei could do setups all day, she could do Okizemi all day, now she's just power, she's just around power. What I, what I have to say here is pretty much that I kind of understand what they, where they're coming from, but it's also undeniable that they kind of cut down a lot of the things that the characters could do. And that's why I think it would be, re I, I really, I still think it would be really nice for Kids Against Stripes to have this me a mechanic like... Uh, you know, the soul charge from soul caliber pretty much, or maybe uh, V trigger like in Street Fighter. I think, <laughs> I still think it would be kind of dope, but I don't think that will ever happen. Uh, I just hope, but I think it would be nice to have things like that so that it's a way to bring back older moves. Uh, and it's also kind of something that you would use with, I don't know, maybe 100% meter. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Can you guys talk about the new air dash? This is a big problem that I have with this game currently. Not big, big, but it's kind of kind of an issue. Especially the part where people can block in the air, but... Mr. Cardano says, First of all, as for the balance between jump-ins and grounded anti-airs uh, in the beta test, we also noticed this problem. Specifically, jump-in attacks, jump attacks had relatively small hurtboxes relative to their hitbox, making it common for jump-ins to beat out anti-airs. We hadn't put enough work into this aspect at the time uh, of the test and we are planning to extend the hurt boxes of aerial attacks downward. Okay. Mr. Ashwatari says, uh, after considering the pros and cons between the in intuitive feeling of old air dashes and the new mechanics in this game, we have decided that the current new direction will create something more interesting than the prior version uh we're proceeding with the development in that direction so they're saying that they're gonna keep the way the entire is uh pretty much they're, they're, they're not against the new entire they like it and they want to keep it that way and that's fine that's okay uh you know people are not really f big fans of the new air dash but interestingly enough it seems like it's not going to be something Universal. It seems like some characters don't use this type of air dash at all. For example, we've seen Milia. She has a really fast air dash. She has like a normal air dash pretty much. It's not the same as the other the other characters, which is interesting because you have a character like Chip, who is a speed character. I expect Milia to be also be a speed character, but Chip has the slow air dash, but Milia doesn't. So that's something that is going to be kind of interesting it's an it's an it's an interesting difference between the characters i would say uh even sato doesn't have the air dash because well he can fly uh so i don't know how things will go for this but i'm hoping that the uh extended hurt boxes are gonna be gonna be good to fix this issue anyways moving on we are talking about the wall break all right in the ghost beta test of Guilty Gear Strive, the wall break mechanic was an interesting addition and I quite liked the idea of rewarding the attacking players with meter while giving the losing opponent another chance by resetting neutral. However, the increased tension was often uh, considered not worth it by players so they would try not to cause a wall break by 
not finishing the combos or not using certain moves. Are you considering changing the way wall break, uh, wall breaks work in order to prevent this behavior, or perhaps changing the reward upon the wall break? Uh, all right, Mr. Katana says. To be completely honest, as of the beta test, we believe that there is a greater merit to breaking the wall rather than staying in the corner. Of course, we will continue playtesting, taking your feedback into consideration, and adjusting the balance before release. However. We do not intend to completely deny the choice to not to break the wall. I feel that is one <clears throat> element of freedom and mischief <laughs> in the good sense. Mischief, another that's the word that we've been talking about uh, in one of the videos, in one of the uh, recent videos. Like they talk a lot about the mischief. And that's something that they want to include more in Guilty as Tribe. And I, I like it. I like it a lot. So the wall break, I'm not against it. I like it actually. And by the way, regarding the wall break mechanic, I forgot to mention that you still get Okizemi, by the way. Basically, the situation is that when you break the wall without, uh, with a regular special move, you don't get away a hard knockdown. But if you use Drift RC right after it, when you're back into neutral position, you gain the advantage. If you do, if you do a, an overdrive move, uh, with the wall break, you get a hard knockdown. So you still have Okizemi situations happening uh, naturally after the uh, the wall break, but we will just have to use some meter sometimes. Uh, once again, don't uh, don't forget the game wants you to use meter all the time, always. Anyways, uh, last question is: What is the current? What is currently the most difficult aspect in developing this game? Mr. Oshiwatari said in big words creating a new feel and new excitement out of the genealogy of guilty year uh there you go so uh, so that's all for room two blah 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 we're playing to reveal the next character in august and yeah that's pretty much it so here is the place where you can uh, ask your questions uh if you don't know about this it's very important so if you have anything to ask to developers or a request to make, uh, make sure that you fill that up. So that's pretty good. But yeah, anyways, that's all that uh, is going on for this part. It's going to be a long video to edit once again. I hope uh, it doesn't take me too much time, but uh, we're going to have to go through this. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I said, don't forget to go. And ask the developers what you think, uh, what you have on your mind. Ask them questions. Give them feedback. Give them uh, make request. See they say here opinion and request form. Go there and do that. You have a thousand words to do so. So uh, it's a lot of things that they allow you to say there. Anyways, I'm out. <laughs>